Many people are still sitting remotely, so how can we actually do demonstration of Microsoft Teams rooms when I'm sitting remotely and I want to do a demonstration of Microsoft Teams rooms from my home office? I'm Lars Bello, working at Tech Data Merrick in Denmark, covering the whole nautics of Microsoft Teams rooms. So this is one of the ways that I have done a lot of remote demonstrations, and I'm going to take you through the basics of it and basically what I'm using is OBS so it's a free software uh, can be downloaded free of charge so it's a really really easy way to get started and I will try to take you through some of the ways that I create um, my recordings and my remote demonstrations so first of all, you need to download the program. As I said, it's free, so it's basically just getting out there. Um, search for OBS, and then you can download it. And what it actually does is that you can do recordings in several layers, which means that you can create that feeling of actually being in a meeting room. So let me show you some of the features and how you can actually use it. So first of all, you need to think about that this is built in layers, just like you use on uh, Photoshop or any other graphic works. Uh, basically, this is how it works. S to start off, uh, we need to think about what kind of switches do we want to have during the recording. So for instance, when I'm switching between these different uh, scenes, it actually is. So this is one scene where I have my camera and my studio microphone. And the second scene that I have is then also catching my second PC on, um, on the screen or in the scene as well. So this is basically how it's built. So the scenes is what I would say the different layouts that you want to show in your meetings or in your remote demonstration. And then the sources are everything that you would like to have in the scene. So let me start by saying I would love to have a scene called Teams Rooms a single display or single screen. And then what should I actually then add to this scene? First of all, I really like to have some kind of background. So and then that could basically be anything. So I'm starting to think about which kind of things that I would like to have there and then start it from the back, building up. You can change it every time you want to, but that's just the way that I'm doing. So basically, I'm going to look for an image and we can call it a background. And we add that one and then you would need to browse for that background you would like to have. So I'm walking into the pictures that I have. I have quite a lot of different ones. Uh, so basically, it could be any of them. Uh, it could be just for the instance of this one taking, I want to have something to look like. And this is actually just snip from a Microsoft video or presentation. So this could be my background. And then I could start adding additional stuff to it. Since I'm working with uh, different vendors in within the Teams area, I like to have something more agnostic so you can't really see which vendor it actually is. So I have created kind of my own image, uh, which means that I can go in here again uh, underneath the pictures and then I can choose a single screen and open that one. So basically now I have like a really, really big picture of a scene that I've created um, and then I can say okay and then I probably need to resize it to so it will fit into um, the, the canvas and basically want to see if uh, I turn on this one then you can basically see that it's it's working in layers I can have uh, two backgrounds I don't know that could make sense in some cases maybe, but you can add a lot of different things here. Um, in this case, I will just delete this one because I'm not using that one. So this is could basically be any picture. Um, 
I could, for the fun of it, just show you how I actually did this one because I do uh, my backgrounds in uh, PowerPoint. So I'll find the PowerPoint that I created. Um, probably faster just for search for it. So I have this one and then I will move it up here. Oops. Uh, a lot of different schematics that I have, but down here I'll have a dual screen, dual screen with the console, single screen with the console. So this is basically how I do it. And what it basically is, it's a 3D things from within the PowerPoint. So basically I'm going up here, taking insert 3D models, and then I go a search for uh, anything, it could be office environment, where do we have that, buildings. And then I start to search for a chair, for instance. And then we can add an additional chair if we would like to have that. Uh, I can add that one just for the fun of it. And then basically I have a 3D chair that I can move around with. And then of course, since that even uh, PowerPoint is built in layers, then I would need to uh, put it into the right place where I would like to have it. So I need to bring it backwards and that I probably need to do uh, quite a few times since that there is uh, quite a lot of uh, 3D um, mm. things in here sent backwards. And there you go. So then I need to find it again. Whoops move it to the place where I would like to have uh, the chair and then turn it in, in that position where I like to have it. And then basically what I'm doing is I'm snipping the picture and then adding it as a picture. So let me remove that one and then just say, okay, so we're gonna snip this one. Uh, basically just as easy as this one. So I'm basically just snipping it, taking it, uh, to my snip and then I save it uh, single screen teams rooms and then I can save it like that and basically then then I can go back to the background image that I have um, and like I did before search for the image whoops uh, I'll search for the image and call it single. Do like that, browse and go to the pictures. No, that was the wrong one. This one, single screen teams rooms, and then I can add that one. And basically it's looking more or less the same as the other one that we had, but then I can move it in the right position and do like that. So, now we have the background of the meeting room and now we want to add uh, different kind of things. So one of the things that I would love to have inside here is, um, uh, how do you say, the console of the Teams rooms. So my Teams is set up for using NDI, which means that I can grab the content from my Teams rooms via the network. So I will call this one the console like that. And this often takes a bit of time, I guess it's because it, it goes for the network and try to search for it. But then you can see the two different screens that I have uh, connected to my Teams rooms. And then I basically just click OK. Does take a little while and then it would hopefully get there. So this one is quite big. So once again, I will do uh, a resize and try to fit it into uh, my background picture. So in this case, it's tend to look like I'm in a meeting room. And basically, if I'm doing anything on the console, it will be visible as well. So the next thing that I would love to have is uh, another NDI feed. And that is from my front of room screen. And then I'll go and take uh, the second screen like that. And hopefully it will get me the 
front of room screen from my Teams rooms just next to me here. So there you go. Basically, you wouldn't even need to have a a black uh, background uh, as the screen. You can do that, but I think it's it's really nice that you can make it look like a screen, even though I somehow uh, managed to do um, a bit of offsettings on the resolution, but I hope you get the idea on how this is working. So basically now I created everything um, so I can do recordings, I can do streaming, I can do and, and start my virtual cam. So right now everything is working, I can do recording and basically also if I walk up to the meeting room and hit a, a new meeting, then you can see what is actually happening on the console as well. So Cortana could be one thing that I want to uh, demonstrate and then I can hit the Cortana button saying call Lars Bello. Uh, oh, I'll try again. Call Lars Bello. Okay. Yes. So in this case, I can call myself and like normally I'm never able to take the call. <laughs> but this is just a, an idea about how that this would work. So basically the remote participants can see everything that has been done on the meeting room and they can see exactly what it, the experience would be of using a Microsoft Teams rooms. Um, you can add a lot of different things like tickers, uh, green screen, if you want to have that in the background. There's basically no limitation on how you can make this work. Another really cool feature is that, like I'm doing right now, I am basically doing the recording directly in OBS again on another PC. I have connected a camera and I have connected my microphone. But basically what I'm doing is that I'm using OBS to actually do this recording so if you want to do that yourself as well, you would need to add an audio input capture. I could call it mic. And then you would need to find the microphone that you would love to use. I can use the Brio cam. And then you would see here that there's actually a microphone. And since it's, it's quite loud, I would probably turn it a bit down, hitting between minus 10, uh, 12 dB is normally really good. So this is how I would do it. So now if I start the recording, then it would actually record and I would have the audio as well. I could also start the virtual cam, which means that now I'm actually able to use that inside Microsoft Teams. So let me try to do that. Um, maybe I should add um, a picture or a video feed of myself as well. So let me Take the video capture device and say Hotly IQ. And there we go. I need to choose the camera that I would love to use. And there we have that one. Um, I could maybe say I want to be up here in the left hand corner. And one of the things that I like to do is, is cropping the image. So I don't have all this area out here if I'm doing a presentation. So basically you can go into the edit, the transform and edit transform in here. And then you could start cropping. So let's say 100 for the left, 700 from the right. And that's okay. And then we can change the size of um, my video feed. Another way that I can do it is hold the command button down and then basically you can just adjust it like you would uh, like to have the setting and resize the image. And then you can basically do nice and easy, pretty cool layouts. Um, probably would need to be, whoa, not that way bigger. Um, there we go. 
So basically, this is how you can do changes of the settings. You can crop everything that you can do uh, how you would like to have it. So now I'm ready. I want to use this as a demonstration on how I could do a remote demonstration in Microsoft Teams. So first of all, I would need to open Teams. That was actually already open. Um, let me go to my calendar. I will do a meet now. Start the meeting. And then I will move it up here so you can see it. So right now it's taking uh, the wrong camera. So basically I would need to change my camera settings to OBS virtual cam. First of all, I actually need to start my virtual cam. And then I should be able to use OBS as a virtual cam inside Microsoft Teams. The only thing that you need to think about yourself is that, and if you want to have the audio as well, if that is captured through OBS, then you would need to change that setting as well. Um, but let's start the meeting here. And of course, the only thing that you need to be aware of is that everything is mirrored right now, at least. I know that Microsoft really, really soon will have that option of not or choosing not to be mirrored if that's uh, a thing you you would like to have or wouldn't like to have. So this is a way that you can use inside Microsoft Teams. A good thing is, though, that it could be a thing that you could spotlight it for everyone which means that then everybody would have your video feed and then you can do the presentation. You can show how the different settings is done and then you would not even need to share the presentation because everything is done directly inside OBS. So I hope this have helped a bit. Um, let me shut down this one and then go back there i hope you have enjoyed it i hope that i've made it a bit easier for you to access and using microsoft teams rooms demonstration remotely uh, using obs thank you so much for watching see you out there bye